Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Gina checking in and I want to welcome all my new subscribers that's joined the fancy family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Gina, if you didn't get that part. And this channel is just for fun. I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. I just love to put makeup on and show you guys how I'm doing it. <laughs> and hopefully you learn some tips and tricks as I put up my videos. So yeah, today's video is going to be over the craze with the steam curlers. So I got stopped at one of the kiosks in Atlanta a couple weeks ago. And um, I had this wig on and she was like, come on, let me um, you know, show you how it works and you don't have to buy it if you don't wanna buy it. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I don't like pressure sales. So she must have read that in my face. Um, because I will tell you no in a heartbeat if I feel like you're trying to pressure me into buying something. So I sat down in her chair, really, really sweet girl, and we had a lovely time. She took one piece of my hair and she straightened it and I was in awe. And I let her know that I was simply amazed. Then she took it and she put a curl in it and everything like that. So what Carolyn I'm talking about is this. Soleil. Now the bag that it came in was the Sutra bag and I did go ahead and take a look on YouTube to see if I saw any you know reviews or videos about this and I did see one where the young lady was saying that it was a scam. So. I don't know if it is or not. I'm going to test this out and see if it does what it did when she used it. So I picked the black ones because black is my favorite color. So the retail price on these was $350. I think it's on the box. Yeah. It's uh, suggested retail price is $350. You all know I'm fugal with my dollars, so I'm not about to pay no $350 for no flat irons. I don't care what they do, okay? So, um, she was like, well, I'll take the price down. Um, I think she said $175 or something like that. And no. Still no, so, um, but she was talking and we had a, you know, good time, like I said, and she was telling me that these aren't like the other ones where you have to put the water in the tank to get them to work. Um, these are supposed to be um, a special kind of plate. Um, oh, I can't remember what she said, but I'll, I'll look it up and see if I can uh, find out what she, what she said this plate well, I think she said it was magnetic magnetic um, ceramic or titanium one of them I can't remember guys um, so I apologize for that but it's your typical um, settings on here. Uh, you're on and off and then it goes up to 450 so we're gonna go ahead and get these plugged in and see how long it takes for them to uh, get heated up so right now it's 1025 so let's see how long it's gonna take for them to warm up all right so I have it plugged on I'm go ahead and turn it on and the red light comes on to indicate that it is on. All right. And then there's also a green light. And I'm going to assume that that means it's ready to go. So. All right. I can feel it heating up already. 
and it hasn't even been a full minute. So while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and take down my hair. Now, as I'm talking to you guys and doing my hair, I'm gonna talk to you about this wig that I'm wearing. And I don't like to throw shade or talk bad about a company, but this is my second purchase from this company and I'm not gonna purchase from them anymore and it's not the bundles um, it's more so the frontals that I'm having issues with you guys saw that that other wig that I made and um, I'm getting the same results with this one as well it's already balding and I've only had this wig for two weeks now going on three see what it's doing the hair is just coming right straight out every day I have to clean hair up off of my um, off my bed off my bathroom floor and I'm, I'm not I'm not about that so but I'm gonna talk to you guys about uh, frontals um, later because I want to address the the makers of the frontals because yeah let me just let me just leave it right there but I'm not I'm not happy with this um, frontal at all at all so I'm just pinning everything up out of the way so I can show you guys See, there's more. That and that's ridiculous. Alright. It's a little bit hotter, but that green light is still not on. But I'm still gonna go ahead and test just to see what it's gonna do. Yeah, it's got to get a little more. Alright, I turned it all the way up. So, we'll see what happens. So, I'm going to give it a couple more minutes. It's 1030 right now. So, um, I'm going to turn everything off and then I'll come back when it's ready. All right, guys, so um, it's pretty hot right now. So we're going to go ahead and test this out and see what happens. One pass. And it straightened it just like that. And I don't have any product on this hair either. So, just gonna go ahead and keep going and uh, play some music while, while I'm doing this. Okay, guys, so here we are getting ready to see what these curlers can do on this wig. I am pleased with my purchase with these curling irons I have used them a couple of times already and I can truly say that I am glad that I went ahead and purchased them I will also do a purchase on the ones that you have to put the water in and just do a comparison with these just to see because the ones you have to use the water with those are more price efficient and you guys know how I am I like to bring you something that's not going to break your purse and give you the same results as a higher end product may. So as far as the hair quality, you already know pretty much that I'm not pleased with it 
in the least. And again, I believe it's mostly from the frontal. And I remember back in the day before plucking became popular, the frontals were made with quality. They were dense and they didn't bald on you as fast as the ones that are coming out now. So I really wish that the wig makers would go back to the quality of the frontals before the plucking pre-plucking came about because of the balding and again I've had this frontal for only two weeks at this point when I made this video and I was so pleased with the construction of the the circumference around the perimeter and I was pleased with the density of the frontal but just a little bit more hair and to do something better with the knots I even tried to go in and seal the knots like we used to do with the wigs back in the day I, I went in with with that and I, I was still losing hair so at this point I'm, I'm trying everything that I can to revive the quality of the frontal and stop the shedding but at this point it's really not coming through the way that I wanted to so on that note I'm not going to mention the company's name unless you guys want that and yeah I will see you fancy beauty symbols in the next video leave your comments down below if you have any questions in regards to the hair if you want to know where I got the hair from I will put that in the description bar but I don't want to mention the, the name of the company and the only reason I'm gonna put it in the description bar is because I don't want you guys purchasing from this company and you end up experiencing the same thing that I have experienced as well as far as manageability with the hair bundles itself I'm experiencing poofing it's not even when I flat iron it bone straight I'm still getting that tangling in the back so just be on the lookout for that as well it could be the fact that this hair has been bleached a couple of times to get it to the 613 but whatever the whatever the reason I'm just not going to support and promote this company for you guys to purchase from so that is everything that I need to say about the hair and about the curling irons stay tuned for a comparison test between the two curling irons and don't forget to subscribe like share and let me know what you think about this video until next time fancy beauties and bows you stay fancy